guys, RPM here. Hope you're all doing well and having a really great day. In this video, I am going to show you guys an update to T-Rex Miner version 0.25.2. They just updated about 12 hours ago as of recording. Now they have added the Blake 3 algorithm, which is for a lithium coin. And so they've added a dual mining mode for LHR cards for Ethereum plus a lithium mode, dual mine mode. So this enables the unlock for Ethereum at 68% and a lithium at 32%. Uh, by default here so this is a hundred percent unlock on this gpu able to be utilizing the gpu at a hundred percent for dual mining ethereum and alethium so i got two rigs here that i will show you i got 3070 ti's and i got 3060 lhrv2s which i want to show you guys some numbers here so normally i can get about 35 to 36 mega hash on these 3060s mining ethereum by itself okay but now you can see I'm able to get with the same overclocks. I haven't changed any of my overclocks here. Uh, I had these on Ethereum so before. And so I just switched my batch file, which I can show you guys right now. It's pretty easy to make the batch file in HiveOS. And, and HiveOS just added the latest version of T-Rex Miner 0.25.2. So you guys can utilize it in HiveOS if you are using HiveOS today. So here we go. I just added, you know, Ethereum. Just do your regular ETH wallet and whatever pool you want to mine to. And the difference here, you add T-Rex Miner. Then it should automatically open up a uh, another like row here for dual coin. And so this is where you add a lithium, okay, A-L-P-H, and you put in your wallet. And most likely you'll have to download the core wallet off of a lithium's website. And then, or uh, there is, I believe, an exchange, uh, gate.io, that has a lithium but uh, I'm not sure how the liquidity and volume is there. Anyways, then you can choose the pool. They already have multiple pools in there in HiveOS, which is great for a lithium. And then the intensity, I had to put 68 in order for it to get started in mining. If I had zero or nothing, it would not mine at all. It would just, uh, it would say the, the cards are not available for mining or something. So for me, I had to put 68 here and then it worked. It it works just fine now. So these are my 3060s. Uh, again, I can get about, normally I would be able to get about 35, 36 mega hash. Now I'm getting about 32, 33 on average here, as you guys can see. And then plus a lithium, we're getting about 262 to 268 mega hash, which is pretty awesome, right? I'll do some profitability calculations here near the la later half of this video. Now, I have my 3070 Ti's, which I'll show you guys right here. Uh, I'm getting about 55 mega hash on Ethereum and about 486 to 463 on Lithium. Now, I can normally get about 60 mega hash mining Ethereum on these 3070 Ti's normally at about 180 to 185 watts. Now we're using a little bit more power here. So to, I, I've, I also not, I'm not using absolute core clock. Um, I, I noticed I was getting a lot less hash rate. So I just bumped, I, I just did 200 core and then I did 200 power limit and it's, I'm able to get 55 mega hash and 485 mega hash on a lithium. So that's really good. Like I'll show you guys the profit numbers here in a sec, but yeah, that's just the numbers I wanted to show you on my 3070 TIs. I think that's pretty awesome that this is enabled assuming though a lithium will keep its you know profitability i guess we'll see how long that takes uh it seems like a lithium's price has been going down as of recording this video has been going down for the past couple of weeks but hey i think that we'll, we'll see what happens i guess with a lithium it's kind of like you want to spec mine and you might as well utilize 100 percent of the gpu anyway right i guess overall for me for my 3070 ti's i am utilizing like 20 30 watts more on my 3070 ti's for each gpu i've lost about five mega hash but i've gained a lot more mega hash or i guess i'm gaining a lot more mining another coin which i'll show you guys the profitability numbers now which is i think what a lot of people like to see so let's do that right now so let's compare my 3070 ti hash rate here i'm getting about 2.73 giga hash on my 3070 ti uh, rig or it says 2.89 all right, I'm just going to change that to 2.89. It, it changes a little bit. Okay, 2.89 giga hash. Now, if I hit calculate here on Miner Stats a lithium mining calculator, I'm able to get as of right now, of course, this could this will probably change after this video. A lot of you guys may move over for those that have LHR cards. Currently, I'll make about $4.37 USD or about 7.6 a lithium coins every 24 hours, which is really good, which is really good. Now, 
with the Ethereum side of it, okay, so if I was getting about, I think I was getting about 306 mega hash on Ethereum. So on what to mine here, 306 mega hash, I put in the power. So I just put in, you know, generally we're using a little bit more. Gonna hit calculate here. And so with dual mining Ethereum, we are gonna profit about $8.85 with Ethereum. So let's add it up here, 4.37 plus 8.85 and that's going to give you $13.22 for six of these 3070 Ti's dual mining Ethereum and Alethium. So that's that's pretty good. Now, if I were to just mine Ethereum on this on these 3070 Ti's, normally I get about 30 360 mega hash, right? 1250 watts power at the wall and let me hit calculate and you can see here Every day, we'd mine about $11.09. So let's compare to our Alethium slash Ethereum rig. We'd be, we'd be making about 13.22. So that's a $2 difference. That's a, that's a pretty big difference as of now, of course, right? As of now, I guess we'll see how profitable Alethium will stay. We don't know the price of Alethium. It's a, it's a pretty new coin, has a market. It's a ranked market cap of 4,642. So really, there's there's not much volume or liquidity, I'm going to assume, with this coin. But hey, it's an interesting idea, I guess. We will see what Alethium does in the future. They seem to have an interesting use case with its DeFi capability, scalability, sharding, all that kind of stuff. And their proof of work algorithm, actually, I want to, uh, I want to read that, is proof of less work, P-O-L-W. And so let me just read this here. They say here, Alethium's P-O-L-W algorithm reduces the energy consumption of proof of work it offers adaptive rewards based on hash rate and timestamp and enables internal mining costs through burning when the hash rate and energy consumption are significantly high the exact way in which the polw algorithm works depends on the parameters set currently it is set so that seven eighths of a block rewards will be required to mine a new block when energy consumption is high the equilibrium between the miners and the protocol changes dynamically and cannot be determined in advance. However, given the same amount of block rewards and hash rate conditions, Alethium uses one eighth of the energy compared to Bitcoin. The energy consumption of Bitcoin is approximately linear to the price growth. Alethium is sublinear, which allows it to remain under 0.1%. Oh, interesting, interesting. So cool. That's that's really cool, guys. I think this is a great option that T-Rex Miner has enabled. Let me know if you guys are using this already. I think when I looked at the mining pools, there is about 6,263 miners on Alethium at the moment on, you know, most of the top pools here. So I'm going to keep track of this, I guess, as people watch the video and probably start joining up on mining Alethium or dual mining Alethium plus Ethereum on their LHR cards. And uh, let me know what hash rate you guys are getting on like 3080 Ti's, I didn't have an example for that. Maybe LHR 3070's, uh, LHR 3080's, and whatnot. Let me know what you guys are getting. And so I hope to update you all in like, I'm gonna say a month from now. And so I'm gonna keep dual mining Ethereum plus Alethium, and we're gonna see how much Alethium we're gonna mine. And uh, maybe in the future, there might be some price appreciation for Alethium. Who knows, who knows, right? With spec mining like this, it could it could take a while, but uh, this is something pretty interesting. And T Rex Miner is breaking the boundary of essentially it's yeah, unlocking the GPUs 100%. It's pretty awesome. Okay, thank you all for watching. Let me know your thoughts. Have a good one, and peace out.